I got here, I always told myself, uh, as soon as time freed up for vlog music, you know, after making the show's um, intro themes, Inverted World, Pop Culture Crisis, uh, Chicken City, all that stuff, then Tim songs, um, you know, Bright Eyes, Pain, all that stuff, uh, there would be time to make um, lo-fi beats for, for the vlog, uh, but I've come to the conclusion that there's never gonna be time, so I started just putting it in like a solid block uh, for lo-fi music for the vlog, and I've got my first lo-fi tune for you to hear today. Still got a lot to do, but I'm working on it. I think it sounds pretty gnarly, so uh, I'll, I'll give it a play for you and you tell me what you think. Let's see. Let's unsolo that. Starts off with some crickets. The Abacus. This part comes out. I'm gonna show you how to uh, how to use this thing to count. Follow me. This is the Abacus, an ancient counting tool. No one knows exactly when it was invented, but it dates back uh, at least centuries before the Arabic uh, numerals were invented. This one's actually made with jade. I looked for something that I could do. You see little beads and things will be made out of different stuff. It's both a counting machine and um, an arithmetic machine, like a calculator. But I, and I'm not too familiar with the calculate, calculative aspect of it. I haven't studied that too far, but I can count on it. And I wanna show you how to count on this thing. It's usually laying down like this because you need all these pieces to be away from, away from the center, the centerpiece. This is the centerpiece here. And the way you count it is, you, you look at each of these, each of these columns, I guess you would call them, and this is like the, the one column. This is the tens, this is the hundreds, this is the thousands. So if you look and look at that, that indicates it's 1,000. And if you have that, it's 1,100, 1,110, 1,112. So it's about that basic. And when you count on an abacus, you'll go one, two, three, four, five. And when you hit the fifth, this one comes down to indicate that it's five and these reset. So that's, this is the same as this. But you, you indicate that it's five by putting that one down, then you go six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and when 10 hits, you got that. This is actually a base 10 abacus. Some of the abacuses are done in other calculations. I've seen them done in base 12. Sometimes it's used for different different like um, industries, at least historically it has been. And I mean, TBH, that's about it, man. I wanted a mop bucket full of spicy mayo. You see him go. It's true. He told me to order like a mop bucket full of it. I totally. And she confirmed it. I did. Most I said eighty three, and she went eighty three, and I went yup. And then I asked if he was serious, and he said a mop bucket, and then I whew, totally forgot. I was ordering all the sashimi. Mm. I think I ordered enough. Oh, yeah. yeah. once and in Denton there was a bunch of non-MAGA people mm -hmm. and I wear red hats all the time. It's like I thought that was a MAGA hat. Kind of like, I'm so nervous. It's like why would I even wear that to a party where I know people? I'm not trying to provoke anyone. Maybe you should are. Maybe you're like here's my hot Maybe I am. I don't know. It, it actually looks like me. I know. She's really good at the She's great. <laughs> 
this is. Selfie. Is this like selfie. narcissistic taking a selfie with myself? Should I take a selfie of me taking? Let's just do. Let's just do say this. which one's the real Drew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Which one? This is as narcissistic as it gets. I love it. Lots of Lydia. I'm taking a selfie of me with a picture of me. <laughs> Let me do it this way. Can you see me? While getting video recorded. <laughs> it's very good. This <laughs> is like totally confused. Do you guys want me to sign this? Yeah, you gotta sign it. So sign it across sign from. Uh, yeah, just right across the face. <laughs> That's what we're going for, Drew. Perfect. Cool. Nice. There we go. Glorious. Star. It says Drew Hernandez. <laughs> That's, That's what it, it says. Right there. Beautiful. Love it. That's so cool. Let me take a picture of this. Yeah, yeah. Where Lots are you guys putting pictures. these? Look. Oh, I get a yeah. frame. Yeah, you get a frame. Jessica's so gonna frame cool. it. Yeah, here in a bit. So you're up there with people like Zuby and Michael cool. Zero, uh, Michael Malice and Alex Jones. The cool people. Yeah. The coolest cats. <laughs> All the wrong thinkers. Charlie Kirk. Yeah. Sydney Watson. We'll talk about Canada. We're gonna talk about the end of the world. We're gonna talk about the pending civil war. Some guy tried to assassinate some guy in Louisville. You That's remember what was going on with Louisville? Mm -hmm. We found out after the fact. One of the things I found because somebody. Mentioned, Olivia mentioned during the show last night. She's yeah. like, oh, somebody's saying that he's a BLM protester or whatever. So I looked it up and he was. Yeah, and he had, didn't he have like black nationalist stuff all over mm -hmm. his yeah. socials? Yeah. Of course. Yeah, and he was But it's the white people. It's the white people that it's are the true. problem, guys. It's those white nationalist extremists. <laughs> it's <on> true. <laughs> Good work, Drew. <laughs> uh, okay, I can do that. Yeah. No problem. I'll, uh, I'll check tonight and I'll yeah. check um, He's actually also a journalist. So really? he's a, yeah, he's a deadly combination. He's BLM and he was a journalist. And he literally tried to assassinate a freaking... Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, so... Um, <laughs> did you see the... Listen to this tweet. Yeah. An employee of the United States Department of Justice made a $50 donation to the, quote, Freedom Convoy, close quote, using their official DOJ email address. Jeez. Low-ranking official, but this is pretty bad look at the justice debt. The comment attached to their donation. Thank you, truckers. It is working. Others have taken your lead like Australia, New Zealand, UK. I think the reason all these blue states in the USA have stopped the mask mandates is there were rumors that truckers here in the USA were going to start a protest starting in CA, DC, and the local and federal government did not want that. And it is an election year. This is my second donation. Every single comment in this thread is like, this person should be fired for making a $50 donation to a cause that they believe in. Who posted that? His name's um, Travis Allen. He's kind of a nobody. He's not really a journalist. How's he doing? Oh, he's so annoying. He's so annoying. <laughs> but the first month, he was like, this kid is amazing. He just is yeah. only awake at night, but he sleeps all day. It lasts exactly one month. Oh, no. <laughs> exhausted. sleep deprived? Yeah. You don't even know what's happening right now? Not really, no. I found a nice well, bourbon last night. Here it is. Alright. This one. This one. Cheers. As Tim says, how the sausage gets made. Ah, the wide open mountain range. Rife with the crisp cold air of a winter's day. The majestic slopes of the mountains beckon one to tackle the icy hills, and one might even catch a glimpse of a rare Alex Jones frolicking amongst the mountainside. And then there's you. In your prime and ready to take part in this glorious sport. You with your winter-ready outfit, <laughs> your manly man gloves, and of course the most crucial part of your journey on the treacherous slopes, your snowboard. Now you're ready to learn. I really don't want to do this. Lesson one. Balancing Fundamentals It's no secret you need to know the proper form of balance upon your vessel. All you need to know is tilt, twist, pivot, and pressure. Now why don't you give it a try all at once. Yes, you couldn't look more confident. Lesson 2. Chairlifts of the Gods <laughs> Once you've mastered the art of balance, we can move on to the art of getting to your destination via the chairlift. The chairlift is a useful tool, combining a lift with a chair to create one of God's most amazing miracles. Thank you, baby Jesus. The chairlift is your most loyal ally on your mountain trek. Simply wait for the lift to come by and hop on. Sometimes it can be a little rough, so try again. Now you're getting it. Lesson three, 
It's all downhill from here. Now you are ready for the most exciting part of your snowboarding quest. The feeling of barreling downhill at high speeds off of a steep cliff whilst being chased by an ice gorilla is a thrill that can't be beat. Of course, as you enjoy yourself, always watch out for those much, much larger ice gorillas. Mmm, now that's a spicy harambe. Meh. <laughs> Next week, your best friend, the AK-47, and you.